G'day, let's play some more Hearts of Iron as the French Entente. We are turning Europe blue, slowly. We're going to, um, I don't know, maybe finish these guys off. War with the Allies. Seems a bit harsh, but I guess once we sort out the common turn, we should be able to hold the Americans back if they try and invade us anyway. So we might go ahead and do it. Um, I don't know, we're just going to play till 48, so that'll probably be the rest of this. Switzerlanders just join the Allies. Alright, so I did move this front line up, so that's what all this reorganization's about here. Yeah? Looks like we thoroughly outnumber him. Six to one. We're not doing particularly good in the south here, though. Okay, well, everybody's still trying to be on the offensive. I guess jumping across the river while he's got weak guys there would be a good idea. Grab these infantry. Stop everybody else from reinforcing up that way. This guy here looks particularly weak. Possibly not. Not sure if there is an actual river crossing there. He's got low supply. So do we. True. That is an horrendous little area there. Stalingrad. Alright, well, our people. I did, uh, during the break, reorganise some planes. So, let's make sure that we're actually doing some work. Standing by. Head over there. Close air support. Well, that's where the fighting's going worse, so... I guess, just keep going to help them. We have low efficiency because they are overcrowded. It's fine. The main problem we have here is that we want to be able to reach a few more air zones. Alright, he's fine. Who's way back here? Fighters. Okay. Uh, have an airfield here. He should be able to sort out the Trans Volga. Alright, gives us air superiority. So, Russia at the moment are feeling. How are we looking? Up the top. Soviet Union is on 37. We're now down to 25. So, let's bomb. A few things down here to start with. Just bomb three ports. Don't have this region. Alright. One port. One town. And Astrakhan. So, the Soviets are on 75. Astrakhan's the first to get nuked. That's how the world will record it anyway. And end of the day, so it looks like they're capitulating. <laughs> Atomic bombing of Astrakhan. <laughs> ends the war. So Union's capitulated, which ends it. Nice. So the Americans will get giant chunks. Which means what we want to do is grab as many of these guys as we can as puppets. So we don't have to go back over there and do them again. like. A lot of them are pretty cheap. Italians, oh, I'd rather take their land. Let's go through, puppet everyone else first, see how many points we have left over. This will mean the Allies aren't at war with anybody after this as well. All right, Republic and Spain, I also want to take. I think the Americans are going to take a lot of Spanish stuff, but Shouldn't be too hard to overrun them again if we don't get them. Okay, Soviet Union. Can we puppet you straight out? We can. But that leaves that entire centre section. So this is where we want to start taking land to get up to our maximum. So starting with the Italian lands, I would think. We could satellite people instead. Hmm. No, we want it a nice French blue. 
Calabria, Sicily. Um, sure. Take a bunch of cheap land in Africa. Ooh, taking his islands. Take Sayuda. Not going to be able to get that anyway. We'll take the Balearis. And then we want to start eating up this cheap land on the way up to the central Russian sort of area. Take Crimea. Alright. Keep our continuity of borders. We aren't going to be allowed to take much more. We're going to hit our thing soon. There. Alright, we'll end our turn on that. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 puppets and a bunch of land. What are the Americans going to do? Change government in the Soviet Union. Yeah, that sucks. In Republican Spain, that's what we assumed. Italian Union. Liberated Ethiopia. Greece gets Latvia, so that's fine. So, next up... Who has the most points after us? The US have 1,200 again. So we won't be able to do much at all here. Um, let's go and sell like Lithuania, Estonia, Tanutuva. Yep, Spain are out of it. So I guess just taking land from the Soviet border. If we could surround them, that would be great. Mm. Oh, come on, there. All right, in that turn. Then the Americans, hang on, <clears throat> come back up. Turn two was all us. The Americans leave. Well, that's interesting. Not going to be able to take all states for a long time. So let's just keep grabbing. This is going to be time consuming. Alright, if we can just go ahead and surround them, it'll be a good start and we don't want to have to march north again so make sure we take these it's one big state all right and getting the giant font would be nice break him in the middle here all right so that's going to give us access across there also want to make sure we take the airbase. Take land down towards Turkey so that he can come marching across when we call on him. Have taken too much. Okay. Damn. Alright, end the turn there. It's like it's still just us that's doing anything. We've only got four points for the next round though. Nobody else has any, so that's a little weird. It's passed a couple of times, looks like nobody else is even gaining points. So if we can go ahead and take all states, that'd be better. Alright, I assume... We are allowed to take the rest of this without anybody else getting in the way. It's just the way the um, thing's set up. We have to just keep clicking pass. And I don't trust that to work properly. So let's go take these giant tracts of land. Something like that. Chow down towards Korea. 
the R10 there. Probably can Spain still has a bunch of stuff available now that he's going to become an ally. We'll go ahead and try and take all states. Not allowed. Granada, Leon, La Mancha, Castile, Guinea. All right, now it's all done. Looks kind of promising. So the only things we lost, waiting that long to come in, were Ethiopia, Italian, Africa, tiny bit of Spain, and tiny bit of the Soviet Union. All right, peace conference is over. Soviet Union becomes French Commune. Come on. French Commune took... Yeah, look, it's paused, but it's still running. Well done. French Commune took 181 states. Was it 16 puppets or something? Russian Federation is democratic. Spain is democratic. Italy is democratic. And a few other people were puppeted. Okay. So, French Commune, not as big as Soviet Union, because this thing's in the way. But we have a bigger font than Canada and US. Brazil looks a little larger. All right. These guys, apparently, are still at war. I doubt it. So, no current wars. What are we going to want to do? We've got two years until we make the achievement. So, how about... We put this little army around the Russian Federation with a view to move on Moscow. We put Spain join the Allies. There's a shock. Yeah, our guys automatically joined, didn't they? Yeah. Whoever it was, uh, satellited them and stuff to the Chinese. So yes, they're in the alliance. Alright, these 16 need to find an allied country. It'll be their job. 162. A lot of cavalry. They... Probably do Africa. I don't think we're going to bother with that. Let's just come around here. Something like that. Yeah, seems fine. And where are these guys? Okay. Allies are over here. Don't want a huge army over there, but it's reasonable. Republic of China must not be a republic. So you go and do that. And then this guy, I guess Finland, maybe? They're not in the Allies yet. Switzerland. And head into Bern and whatever else. That will be your job. Okay, so they're all going to get where they're going. We have a few free dockyards. We will make more submarines. We're just going to surround England with submarines, I think. End of the day, it's thinking about something. Don't do this at the end of every day for the rest of the game. Usually does that because you've got the um, area regions open. All right, thubs. Go to Flotilla de Hotnia. Needs to do more. For all of the busted ones. All right, all good. We also have, is that about 60? Well, we need light tanks. So I just keep making tanks. Light tank, light tank, light tank, light tank. Yeah, dirt, yeah, dirt. It's 
Hold on. Okay. And that should give us insufficient resource issues. Missing fighters. Yeah, we're making jet fighters now instead. We need one more. Kick some of the civilian factories out for a little bit. Porting a lot of oil though. Okay. What's our next problem going to be? Repairing everything, probably. So we did take a few hits along the way. Mostly in France, and then we're repairing stuff in Russia. It's fine. It shouldn't take too long. Low supplies in the middle. Why is your supply coming from from a port down there instead of coming across. Fair enough. Need more oil again already. I guess whenever we finish repairing a factory, it'll start using more oil. And the problem now is that we've got all of these guys ready and no way for them to fire. Alright, I think their range... We're making rocket threes. Operation range is 11k. So, from southern England, where the hell's Samsung? Hmm, where's the go to thing? Nope. Samsung is over in Asia Minor, that can reach the UK. Alright, well, from southern England, we want to hit you with a ton of stuff. Let's go 10 to southern England. Do, do, do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Can't remember which one that was. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Corsica by the looks. And then Upper Austria. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. To Stanislavov. We'll go destroy. If we can find it. Northern England. Leave us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Okay, so then we just got to go and turn them all on. Doo -doo. Be a lot of rockets coming at him. Alright, so the other thing we need to do is rebase all of our planes. It's going to be annoying. Um, we don't have many fighters. Strategic bombers, tactical bombers, alright, all the rest of the rockets. Don't actually have all that many planes. Let's bring them. Calais, and we'll rebase them from there. Hold one. Hmm, we never actually build these up. Let's be on five, they're on ten. Five, 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 five. All right, we've got a few. Hey, Jet Fighter 2. Awesome. So, I guess, uh, I don't know. Yeah, shouldn't take too long. 38 days. Get the CAS up. And we need to change production over Jet Fighter 1 to Jet Fighter 2. We have some points to sink into it. I guess the range is what we're going to be worried about. 
up to 3k extra third that'd be good the liability is crap so something like that would be better all right jet fighter 2 mark 1 Go for making four per day per two, one per day. It's not horrendous. Drop in efficiency is bad, but mm, you'll be okay. And you should be mark one. All right, next problem. Insufficient resources, more oil, as always. We run into problems if we go to war with them. All right, now in Calais, I want to spread them out. So we need close air support in Brittany, in Normandy, in Westfalen, and wasn't there another one? Not close enough to reach. Hague. All right, Calais can hold two, that'll be fine. St strategic bombers reach a long way, so you can chill out down there. Tactical bomber can move to somewhere else here, wasn't there? Luxembourg. Then we've got fighters. Two fighters. All right, so we've got too many there. So one of the fighters has to move. Oh, it's 1,200. Damn, thought it was 2,000 when I looked at it. Um, go to the Loire. Hopefully, they'll actually be able to reach. can awesome so make sure they are doing stuff naval strikes and yeah why not attack the ports and because we know there's going to be a lot of ports up there we'll grab our strategic bombers and their job will be to do strategic bombing surprise surprise we have the other guy They can, you know, we're going to land in southern England, so let's just send everybody there. He can't reach. Damn. Uh, he'll be able to help out down here, though. In the Benelux. And I don't know who else isn't actually busy. Should be a better way of sorting this out. You too. Tactical Bomber was the one I was looking for. He went to Luxembourg. Tactical Bomber can do strategic bombing. And we're going to do port strikes. I was going to turn on all the missions, I think. Right. That will look very bad from his side. Western China has supply issues. Occasionally. When those guys come in, probably. Yeah, that's going to put them over, but then they're going to spread out over five different supply regions, so that should be okay. And our allies down on the tip, it's Singapore, yeah, it's reasonable. Okay, well, the French Entente is holding the world together, except for the Americas. We'll sort them out later, maybe. Well, I'm going to take a short break here, so thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.